you guys so it's been a while since I filmed a video I was in California for almost two weeks if you guys didn't know I was on my honeymoon with Quinn and then yesterday my last day in LA I had a photo shoot with one of my favorite makeup brands ever which was like the craziest thing so that was really really fun like one of my favorite days ever and then we got in really late last night so this morning I went to my apartment office to pick up all the packages that came while I was gone and I had quite a few things to go through and most of them are new products that are launching soon or are just launching right now so I thought it would be fun to do another one of those trying new products videos so I'm gonna get ready we're gonna try some new products and see what we think of them alright so I have all of my new things that I received here in this box I'm gonna try to use as many new things as I can this first thing and I'm gonna this first thing that I'm gonna start with is the fresh face by fresh Instant Glow Luminizer, and this is basically like a luminizing highlight that you can wear as a primer under your foundation. I'm gonna burp. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was the girliest burp ever. Or you can use it after you put your foundation on, like on your cheekbones and nose and that kind of thing. It looks just like a sunscreen or something, but uh, we'll see. And I haven't tried any of these products on my face yet. This is like a first impressions of everything as well. Alright, so it definitely does make your face look more luminous. I don't have any new foundations to try. Actually, that's a lie. I do, but I don't want to put it on again because I hate it so much. Okay, I don't hate it, but I strongly dislike it. It's the new Anastasia Stick Foundation. I bought that while I was in San Diego a few days ago, but it broke me out so bad, like around my chin and this area. I don't know if you guys can tell in this lighting, but it broke me out like the first time I tried it. And I don't know, I liked how it looked like the first couple hours, but after that, just wasn't a fan. I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation, and this is in the color W12. And while I was away, Ofra sent me a package, and this little perfecting puff was in it. It's like a beauty blender, but not really. Um, so I'm gonna go get this wet. Feels like it's gonna be a lot more dense. Let's see. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I got it wet. It definitely did get a lot bigger. It does feel heavier than the beauty blender. So our honeymoon, by the way, was super, super fun. Thank you guys so much for wishing us a good time and all that. You guys are the best. I actually filmed a lot of it, or at least I tried to. It was the first time that I, like, attempted to vlog, especially in public. Like, I've never done that before, so it was kind of weird. But I tried it, and I haven't really watched the footage yet, but... If you guys want me to upload a video on that, let me know, but I only did like two days while we were at Universal Studios, which was so fun by the way, so I did vlog those couple of days, and we're going to see how much footage I can use, but I think it was really fun, and if you guys want to see that, let me know. This sponge is really weird, like look at how it's taking shape when I pinch it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like, ugh, I don't know if I like this. I think it's just soaking up most of my foundation, to be honest. That luminizer thing, though, by Fresh, definitely made my skin look a lot more glowy. And I know this is a luminous foundation, but it doesn't look this luminous on its own, so I think that this definitely made a difference. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of my Kat Von D Cream Locket Concealer. This is in the shade L7. I'm just going to apply this directly on this discoloration under my eyes. I'm not going to highlight with this because I do have a new cream highlight and cream contour thing to try out, which I'm really excited for. Since this is wet, I'm just going to use it to blend this out. It's kind of hard to get in this under eye area with this because it's so fat. Okay, so moving on to the cream highlighting and contouring products I was just talking about. These are new from Ofra. Let me get these all going the right way. What are these called? I can't remember. Something like the Skin Sculpting Sets. These are the two highlight shades, and then these are the two contour shades. So there's one that is definitely meant for a deeper skin tone, and then one for a lighter skin tone. So we're going to try this one, and then I'll get to the contours in a little bit. So this one is in the shade Dawn. These haven't launched yet by the time that this video is up, but they should be launching in a few days or a week or so. I'll list all the information on it down below if you guys want to know more. And you can also use my coupon code for 30% off. It's just Kayla Hagee. And so I'm just going to apply this like this. I've never tried any face product by Ofra before. I've only tried their eyeshadows and their liquid lipsticks, obviously. Right? I don't know if this is going to give me like a strong highlight, obviously. I'm a little too pale, I think. But we're still going to try this out and see how it looks. In case you want to know, if you guys didn't see my Snapchats when I was swatching all of these things, this is what the other highlight shade looks like. Obviously not for pale to light skin tones. 
and this is in the shade Sunrise, so if you have like medium to deep skin, I think that would work for you. So I'm just going to blend this out. I can't use this sponge. I feel like it's just taking up all of my products, so I'm going to go get my beauty blender. I'll be right back. All right, let's finish this. I feel better with this guy. All right, so this has been on for like a minute, and it's a little hard to blend out if you let it sit on your face for too long, but like I said, I had to go like wet my beauty blender and stuff, so that's why. It actually does have pretty good coverage, though. Like, it kind of feels like a concealer. I do have those spots on my chin, like I was saying, and I feel like this did a pretty good job of covering those up. And overall, as a highlight, it's not like a super strong highlight on me, obviously. It's almost like my skin tone. So, I'm just going to move on to the cream contours. There's Sunset and then Dusk. Sunset is a lighter, more cool toned contour, and then Dusk is a little bit darker, a little more warm. So this is Sunset, the lighter one. And then this one is Dusk. It's a lot darker. I don't know if this is dark enough for like really deep skin tones, which is kind of a bummer. Like, I wish that this was a little bit darker. But anyways, we're just going to use Sunset today. Just going to go like this. Like I said, I've never used these, so I'm kind of afraid. Like, I don't know how much to apply. And then I'm actually just going to use my Smith 115 foundation brush to blend this out. So it's pretty pigmented. I don't know. I might have put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It is easy to blend out though, like I said, as long as you don't let it sit on your face for too long. And then I'm just going over this with the Beauty Blender. I actually kind of like how that looks. Looks good. And then just going to put a little bit around my forehead. It actually is pretty natural looking. I really, really like this. I've been using a lot more cream contours lately rather than powders because lately I feel like the powders that I have at least look really dark on my skin and I like more of like a light contour now. And you guys know I never contour my nose so I'm not gonna do that today. But I am gonna go back in with this and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my cheekbones just to see how it does look like on top of a foundation. Just because I'm curious. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but whatever. I'm just gonna apply it with a beauty blender. Oh, hey, that actually looks kind of good. What do you guys think? It's not like an extreme difference. It's definitely a subtle highlight that kind of looks more like sweaty. <laughs> I know that sounds gross, but you know what I mean? Like a natural dewy highlight rather than like, you know, a powdery, glittery mess. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. So now I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is the translucent powder. I know this isn't a new product and I recently used this in my How I Did My Makeup in High School Challenge video and I forgot how much I liked it so I'm using it again. And this is just the e.l.f. blush brush I think. I, I don't know. The kind of tapered one. I'm just going to set right underneath my eyes. Try not to disturb that highlighter that we just put down. And then a little bit on the sides of my nose. This laugh line that's driving me crazy and my chin. And then maybe just a little bit up here. I don't have a new bronzer or contour powder to try out, but I do have a new brush that I got in my Beautycon box, and this is by Luxie. It's the 504 Large Angled Brush. Never tried brushes by them before, but this feels really, really nice, so I'm excited. And then this is just the e.l.f. St. Lucia palette. I'm just going to go in with a touch of that color and just go over that cream contour by Ofra. This is kind of more of a bronzer shade for me, so I'm just going to Blend it upwards towards like where I would put my blush. I like this brush. It's nice. It's not too big. It's not too fluffy, but it's not dense. It's just like perfect in between those two. Might have a new favorite contour bronzer brush. I don't know. I can't really beat the Smith 112 though. All right, so I got a new highlighter from JCat Beauty. This is You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter, and this is in the shade White Goddess kind of a weird name, but all right. There's three shades of these. I don't know what the other two look like. I'm assuming that they're more for like darker skin tones, but I'm going to try this out today. And we're going to use this on a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. I don't know what happened to my favorite fan brush. It pains me. Don't know where it is. But I'm just going to pick up a little bit and apply this right over. Oh my god, that's super pigmented. Holy shit. Well, this highlight works for pale skin. I'll say that. Alright, so this highlighter is definitely more like on the yellow gold side. I like it. It's I think I might have put on like a little bit too much, but if you guys ever do that and you want to tone it down a little bit, just take your beauty blender and whatever foundation is left over on it and just run it over the top of that highlight. 
I think it looks pretty good though, like that's pretty impressive for a drugstore highlighter. And then for blush, I'm just going to take one of these fairly new Pixi Multi Balms. This is in the color Wild Rose. It's a cream blush, which I don't really use too often, so I figured I would use one today. I have mentioned these in a video before, but I didn't really have any newer blushes. So I'm just going to dot this on like this, just a little bit at a time, and then just take that uh, bronzer contour brush by Luxie and just stipple that out. By the way, have you guys been watching American Horror Story Season 6? Oh, I don't know how I feel about it. I did not watch Hotel. I watched like a couple episodes of it and I just couldn't get into it. I didn't really like it. I think I like this one though, but I really don't like the whole documentary style that it's doing. I don't want to say like any spoilers or anything for those of you who haven't started watching it yet, but let me know your thoughts down below. I'm excited for episode 3. Okay, so I think I'm all done with my face. I'm going to actually move on to a eyelid primer, and this is by e.l.f. It's the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Never used this before. I really don't use primers other than like concealer and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but you know what? It's good to try new things. So I'm just going to apply this and then blend it out with my finger. So I'm just going to rub this in and give it a few minutes to kind of settle into my eyelids. While this is doing its thing, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And for brows, I'm going to use this brand new Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette. I don't know if this has a specific shade to it. There's a number one on the back, so it might be shade one. I don't know. It looks like there's some light, medium brown shadows, and then a brow wax, and then a highlighter. And then it comes with this little dual-ended brush. It's got an angled brush on one side and then a spoolie on the other. I don't know how this is going to look, so if it doesn't match my hair, don't judge me. I remember when I was reading the info that came with it, it said to apply the wax first, but I'm not really sure how to go about doing this. I'm just going to dip my spoolie right into it, and then I'm just going to spoolie this through my brows. I don't really ever use brow wax, but we're going to see how this looks. And then I'm going to start out with this medium shade. I haven't dyed my hair in like, well, since before the wedding, so it's been over two months, I think. And it's uh, hard because my hair keeps lightening up to match my brows to my hair, so I don't know. We'll see how this looks. Okay, I didn't really like that brush, so I'm going to switch to my Smith 203. This is my favorite brow brush. And just finish this up. Oh yeah, that's way better. So far, I really like how this looks. I normally, well, for the past like few months or so, I've been using more like brow pomades like the Anastasia Dip Brow and the Pony Cosmetics Main Stains. I really like those, but uh, I missed powders. I really like how they feel and how they look. And then I'm going to take this darker brown, the darkest one in the palette, and just fill in the tails of my brows. Done with the brows. I actually kind of like how the powder looks on top of the wax. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that. So I'm going to move on to the eyes now. I'm super excited to use this palette. This is my first Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. And this is the Artist Shadow palette. And there's nine matte eyeshadows in here. Don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for, but we're just going to go for it. I swatched some of these eyeshadows on Snapchat earlier. And the consistency is super weird and interesting. They swatched kind of oddly on my skin but I never know how I'm going to like an eyeshadow until I test it out on my face. So I'm just taking this kind of light brown taupey color right here on a Smith 232, and I'm just using this as a transition in the crease. I didn't lay down like a base shadow or anything like that. Oh wow, this actually looks really good. It's blending really nicely over that e.l.f. primer. So far, I feel like at least this color applies a lot differently than when I swatched it on my arm. Like, it's a lot smoother, and when I swatched it on my arm, it was just a little bit, like, chalky and not super pigmented, but it's actually blending out a lot better than I thought it would. I guess I'm going to take this color down here. It's, like, a light creamy color, and I'm going to apply this on my lid just to see what it looks like. That one actually looks pretty pigmented as well. Then I'm going to take this one. It's, like, a purpley mauve color. This is on the Smith 247 brush. Just going to apply this in the outer portion of the crease and then down onto my lid a little bit. Also going to kind of extend this a little bit past my lash line so it makes my eyes look a little bit like elongated over here. I'm not going to go super heavy with this color because I think I'm going to be putting one of the purple shades on top of it. Alright, so the shade that I really want to try out is this one right here. It's like the perfect purple. I'm just going to take it on the same brush, pretty much just apply it over the top of where I just put that last one. Ooh, I love it already. 
you really don't have to have too much of these shadows on your brush like they're pretty pigmented on their own if you just apply a little bit and I'm not really getting any fallout that I'm noticing either which is nice so I want to use as many colors as I can in this palette so I'm also going to take this light pink on that same brush and just kind of help blend that purple onto the lid with this pink color so I'm just going to apply it right in the center of the lid so I'm just going to keep blending until it's like a gradient from the cream to the pink to the purple. So I think I'm just going to take this purple under the lower lash line, not really going to use too many other colors down there. This is just a Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. And then I'm just going to sweep that all the way from the outer corner of the lower lash line to the inner corner. And then I guess I'm just going to take a little bit of this pink again on a blending brush and just sweep this underneath to blend it out a little bit. Like I was saying, these shadows definitely apply better to the eye with a brush than they do swatched with a finger. They turned out a lot better than I thought. And then I'm just going to take this white up here a little bit on my finger and just use this as an inner corner highlight. And then just going to mix a little bit of the white with the cream and just highlight the brow bone just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to move on to eyeliner, and this is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. And this one, it looks kind of intimidating because the tip of it is so fat, but I did swatch this on my hand, and you can make it thin. We're going to hope that this works as well on my eyelid. So I'm just going to start with a line from the outer lash line, and then draw it up at an angle to be the wing. And then I'm just going to go across my lid, try to outline the shape of the eyeliner that I want, and then go across filling it in. Alright, so this looks pretty good. When I was applying it, it was a little bit hard to apply over the eyeshadow. Like, it kind of tugged in some areas, but it didn't get messed up or anything. And I think it already dried down. It's definitely more matte than it is shiny. I like it so far, but the real test is when I go outside and my eyes water instantly. Is it gonna run? Don't know. I'll keep you updated. I don't have any new mascaras, but this is something that I just found in my desk that I forgot I had. This is the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I think I tried this and I really liked it and then I just forgot about it. Anyways, I'm just going to move on to lashes now and these are some brand new lashes from House of Lashes. These are called Knockout. These are really special to me because if you buy these in the whole month of October, one dollar of each sale will be donated to the Keep a Breast Foundation. So I think it's really cool that they are donating towards a breast cancer foundation. And these lashes just look really pretty, so if you guys need some new lashes and you want to feel good about where your money's going, Keep these in mind. Alright, so I just went ahead and applied a little bit of lower lash mascara while I was waiting for that lash glue to dry. I think they've had enough time to dry, so I'm just going to pop these babies on with some tweezers. I really like how these look. I love it. They're like not super intense, and they are a little bit longer in the center than like on the side, which is nice. Alright, so eyes are done. I think the only thing I have left to do is lips. And I did get a few new lip products. Let's check them out. So these are new lipsticks by Ritual Defee. They're an online store and I love them. I've talked about some of their products before in other videos. These are their forbidden lipsticks and I got six new shades. All right, I think I'm gonna go for this one. It's kind of like a deep berry color. It's called Fortune Teller. Alright you guys, so this is it for the finished look. I hope you like it. I haven't done like an all purpley toned makeup video in a while, I don't think. Why did that sentence just come out so weird? Anyways, I hope you guys had fun watching this video, as much fun as I had trying out these new products for the first time. Let me know if you do enjoy this style of video though, because I really love watching these myself. I love filming them, so I really hope that you guys like it too. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!